Hey, good morning, friends and family. All right, so we're gonna make a pit stop to one of uh, Estonia's largest waterfalls. And uh, walking through one of the towns of uh, Kotia Jarva, I think I said it right. Um, it's a pretty surprising little Soviet styled buildings everywhere. But what's really surprising is look what I found. Um, you know, a sculpture. Not just any sculpture. Yes, a former Soviet sculpture, I guarantee you. It's got all the elements. It's very crude looking. I think they're both holding a, a pickaxe, so it's probably telling me that this is a mining town, which I don't know anything about this place. I'm just making a pit stop, but it looks like it might be a mining town. And those are two miners holding a pickaxe together in unity. And it's very neglected. So to me, those are very pure signs of a former Soviet type of artwork here. Wow, very surprising to see this. Um, just as surprising as me telling you, I'm about to make a journey on foot to this waterfall. <laughs> going to be making a surprise visit over there on foot because this is one of the towns that uh, doesn't have taxis around and I came here on the, the bus so wish me good luck it's going to be an hour and 30 minute walk damn <laughs> not looking forward to this Let's put this back here in the town of Jove or Yovi one of those ways of pronouncing it. This is labeled as a Soviet Union playground. Look at this. Our little mouth chicks could hang off the bars. I can understand that, but I don't understand what this one means. How do they play with this? I don't know. Little mad chicks play on this, like a hamster wheel? No. Well, you know what? It's the same concept. Little kids need to hang off of things and have a huge field to run around to exhaust all their energy. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way through this creepy, creepy forest um, to go see the waterfall. Now from here, I have at least an hour walk. So, is this pathway the right way to go there? I don't know, Google Maps says maybe. <laughs> uh, the other map I use also says maybe. So we'll see, hopefully I don't get eaten by wolves and this journey's over. Hopefully not. Hopefully, I said, I mean, hopefully not. I don't want that to happen. I don't think y'all want that to happen. But we'll see. All right. It's uh, Gary SpongeBob's pet. Oh, it's a Bucky, it's a Bucky. Ooh, that's a bad omen. If uh, Gary's the snail pathway is cheery like that, okay, I might have to trust it time for y'all so i'm out here doing this with this pretty heavy pack it's 30 pounds so it's kind of like it's like 50 kilos and I remember, i've done a lot of hikes in my life in the military and uh one in particular that reminds me is a hike that we did in the marine corps it's called the beach hike now every single hike is mandatory in order to graduate. You have to finish every single one. And if you didn't finish it, you had a chance to remediate the second time. I think it was the third attempt. But this beach hike in particular, I forgot to bring the insoles for my combat boots that day. Um, I ended up hiking that whole beach. I think it was like at least a 12K or a 15K. And I 
I was in pain and misery on top of me forgetting my insults because I can feel the concrete. I can feel the heavy hard step and I was just miserable. So this just reminds me of my good old days in the Marine Corps, hiking with heavy packs, very uncomfortable. But you know what? Like the motivational speaker, Said nothing. He just did it. He just ran. He didn't do it. He, he, he didn't even say anything. He just ran. So if he can do it, I can do it. Why do I? So I wasn't expecting this, but this is called the Clint, Clink, Clinked Forest. Wow. And it's one of the ancient forests of Estonia and the Baltics. And it runs all on the coast. So we are literally on the edge of Estonia. Nothing but just cliff sides. And this is the forest. And there's a very small sandy beach down there. But uh, we are going to one of the waterfalls, the largest waterfall in Estonia, and uh, see what that's like. Wow, it looks like there's a wall. It used to be a wall. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Here, during the Republic of Estonia before World War II, um, this place used to settle a lot of fishermen, smithers, and all the farmers would be right on top of the cliffs because that's where all the farming land would end at the edge of Estonia. And so fishermen would actually sleep here overnight to catch herring and alder fish. And during the Soviet Union, after or when the world war ii began a lot of the soviet union border guards would come down here and they smashed all the fishing boats because the locals thought this was a very well hidden place from the soviet union's reach but no the border guards knew about this location set up barbed wire so you'll see some like looks like parts of buildings still here that explains a little bit of the cliff wall, why it looks man-made. Um, I haven't seen any leftovers of the barbed wire, but it's pretty interesting information about Bank Force. Very on, I wasn't planning this. It was not a planned trip to come to this, but it just happens to be here. So we'll check it out. That's what we're doing. All right, and the problem is, is that I've been hiking for almost two hours now and I made a pit stop and I've also had surgery on my ankle, right? Nine months ago, but it's still not the same. And, oh shit, yep. <sighs> so if you come here, just be careful. It's very slippery, very slippery. And I got some pretty good boots. So it looks like we hit the end of our rope here. Now we just gotta tie the knot and hold on because it looks like it doesn't go anywhere after this. It just goes towards the sea. And on the map, I could have sworn it said it's gonna lead us to the waterfall. So it looks like we have to backtrack and go all the way back. And it's, it's gonna be, once you go down, you're always gonna have to come back up. Damn, been bamboozled.
here, walk down, cross all this slipperiness, go down to the sea. From there, bring it across, get to the river. Now, it didn't lie to me, this wasn't very exact. It made it seem like there was a trail, there's also a boardwalk all the way over there because they wanted you to walk on the sand or the rocks, the beach, which no bueno, you can't do because it's so windy, the ocean waves, they take over the beach. So now we're gonna continue on with the road this time. We have a lot of these holes right here and here's a good example of what I'm looking at. There's been quite a few of these. Makes me wonder, are these bunkers or were they used to be bunkers? You'll see right there. Because right across, this is a straight. Yeah, it's the sea, but it's actually the straight. Um, I think it's the, the Finnish straight. Sea of Finnish or the Strait of Finnish, Finland. Finland's right across from over there, right? And then not too far is St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, obviously this is Estonia. They could very well be a bunch of hidden Russian submarines in there right now, watching me do this live on my GoPro. But they probably just set up a lot of bunkers here. You can see more of this. Very interesting, very interesting. Interesting. Oh, thank goodness. Only 170 meters until I get to Valaste, Valast, Valastai, however you say it. Thank goodness, man. These weary feet. Oh, so tired. I don't even want to see the, the waterfall right now. <laughs> Okay, I finally reached it. Uh, with my past experience with these boardwalks, I'm good. I'm not going right here, but here, I'll show you. Down there. That's as close as I'm gonna get, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> uh, down there, that's where you'll see the waterfall. And we're gonna see it from the bottom, cause I, I'm wary, I'm very wary. Just need to eat. I need something to drink. I need. I need to uh, rest my feet. <sighs> All right. Good thing I'm not the only tourist, though. That is by far the most windiest waterfall that I've ever seen, and I did not even go because let me tell you something. It's super windy like extremely windy and the rail is you see this you see where my knee is the rail it's on Bulawawa tower from Sri Lanka all over again like it, this is extremely windy hell nah that is oh if I accidentally fall that's it that's for Danya. I'm I'm I can't do heights man I you have to literally grab me by the collar, which has happened to me in experience, and throw me out the plane. I hope this is open. God, please let this be open. And there's a hotel. Please, please, it looks like it's open. Let it be open. Yes, yes, for sure. All right, so I got some background music in here. I can't stop it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get it as a copyright infringement. But uh, yeah, I never made it to the waterfall. The reason why I never made it to the waterfall because it is like Ambulawa Tower from Sri Lanka all over again. All right, so another thing is it's just it, the risk the reward ratio the risk wasn't worth it like the waterfall it barely has any water so I came here right now it's November 2022 right I don't know if the year really matters but November it is 
there's no water that feeds the waterfall. And so in order to see a really nice waterfall, you need to have a lot of water that runs down it. That's falling, right, you know? Um, I mean, I don't, it, it's too extremely windy and the ledge just doesn't look safe. Um, I can't even fly my drone because it's so windy. You won't be able to hear me talking down there. So, I mean, this just wasn't worth the risk. All right, well, we'll, we'll go on to the next adventure. <laughs> Don't copyright me, YouTube. Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my tongue Everything I know